Mike Tyson has just allegedly punched Jake Paul after he made comments towards his daughter. Jake Paul made a big mistake. He really decided to mock Mike Tyson's daughter in a new press conference. Jake said, I will bury you alongside your daughter. Iron Mike did not stand for this. There was no chance he was going to let these words slide, especially after the fight got put back to November. Tyson decided to take matters Ito his own hands and put hands on Paul, causing him to be in serious condition. We are unused the reproductions as of right now, as this news has only just came out. But it doesn't seem like Jake is in a good way. Different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Mike Tyson, a name that resonates with the thunder of gloves hitting flesh and the roar of a crowd witnessing history, was poised for an electrifying return to the ring. His opponent? None other than Jake Paul, the brash, social media savvy pugilist who had parlayed internet fame into a burgeoning boxing career, leaving a trail of controversy and knockouts in his wake. But the cancellation, as it turned out, was merely the opening act in a drama far more captivating than anyone could have predicted. What unfolded next was a whirlwind of chaos, a real-life soap opera that would put any Hollywood script to shame. The Saga of Tyson Verses Paul took a dark and dramatic turn, leaving the world stunned and craving answers. The world wanted answers, but for the time being, all they got was silence and speculation. The Tyson Verses Paul's saga had taken an unexpected twist, leaving everyone wondering what the next chapter would hold. Just when the dust seemed to settle on the cancelled fight, a new wave of chaos erupted. Days after the official announcement, a grainy, shaky video surfaced online, sending the internet into a frenzy. The footage captured an explosive altercation between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul in the lobby of a swanky Las Vegas hotel. The circumstances leading to the confrontation remain shrouded in mystery, but the intensity of the exchange is undeniable. The video opens with a visibly agitated Tyson berating Paul, his voice booming with barely contained rage. All right, Jake, I'm filming. So guys, um, I'm in the hospital. I had an accident. You think you're a real fighter, kid? Tyson snarls, his eyes locked on Paul. You ain't nothing but a clown. Paul, never one to back down from a verbal spar, fires back with equal venom. You're washed up, old man, he retorts. I would have embarrassed you in the ring. Tyson, his anger reaching a boiling point, lunges towards Paul, his fists clenched. The video cuts off abruptly as hotel security intervenes, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. The footage quickly went viral, sparking a heated debate among fans and critics alike. Was Tyson's outburst justified? Had Paul's constant taunts finally pushed the boxing legend over the edge? The incident left more questions than answers, but one thing was clear. This feud was far from over. The cancelled fight may have been the spark, but the animosity between Tyson and Paul had ignited into a full-blown inferno. The aftermath of the Tyson-Paul hotel brawl was a media maelstrom. News outlets dissected the incident from every angle, analyzing the footage, interviewing witnesses, and speculating on the potential consequences. Legal teams for both sides were swiftly mobilized, with cease and desist letters flying and lawsuits threatened. Reputations hung in the balance as the public discourse intensified. The boxing world found itself deeply divided. Traditionalists rallied behind Tyson, the sport's former king, citing Paul's relentless taunting and perceived lack of respect as justification for the outburst. They argued that Paul's brash persona and social media antics had crossed a line, provoking a reaction from the notoriously volatile Tyson. On the other side, a younger generation of fans and commentators sided with Paul, portraying him as the victim of an unprovoked attack by a man with a history of aggression. They highlighted Tyson's past struggles with anger management and legal troubles, questioning his suitability as a role model in the sport. The incident exposed a generational divide in boxing, a clash between old-school values and the brash new world of influencer culture. Joe Rogan reacted to the situation? I can't believe what just happened. That was crazy. Jake shouldn't have said that about Mike. He completely lost it. It's like the younger version, or Iron Mike came back for a minute or two. He went crazy. It's broken. Oh, Jake, you good? Nurse! Jake, Nurse, more morphine! Oh my God. I broke my back! The hype surrounding the Tyson verses. Paul's showdown was palpable, 
an intoxicating blend of nostalgia and novelty. Mike Tyson, a living legend, the baddest man on the planet, a name that conjured images of explosive power and raw aggression, was dusting off his gloves for a return to the ring. His opponent, Jake Paul, was a different breed altogether. A social media phenom turned boxer, Paul had leveraged his online fame and knack for self-promotion into a lucrative career in the sweet science. He was a lightning rod for controversy, his brash persona and penchant for theatrics polarizing the boxing world. This clash of titans, a battle of generations, was a promoter's dream. It was old school grit against new age swagger, experience versus audacity. The narrative was irresistible, a modern day David and Goliath story with the added spice of celebrity. The potential for fireworks, both inside and outside the ring, was undeniable. Yet, beneath the surface, a storm was brewing. Cracks began to appear in the facade of unity. Whispers of discontent emerged from Tyson's camp, hinting at a growing rift between the two teams. The devil, as they say, is in the details, and the details of the fight contract became a battleground. Disagreements over the rules, the division of the purse, and even the seemingly trivial matter of who would walk out first escalated into major sticking points. The air crackled with tension as the fight date loomed closer. A cloud of uncertainty hung over the highly anticipated spectacle, threatening to derail the entire enterprise before it even began. The clash inside the ring, once the focal point, was now overshadowed by the brewing conflict outside of it. The boxing world watched with bated breath, wondering if this epic showdown would ever come to fruition. Then, with the suddenness of a knockout punch, the bombshell dropped. The Tyson vs. Paul showdown, the fight that had dominated headlines and captivated the sporting world, was officially off. The news reverberated through the boxing community, leaving fans stunned and promoters scrambling. Social media exploded with a torrent of reactions, ranging from disbelief to outrage to a morbid curiosity about the reasons behind the cancellation. The deafening silence from both camps only amplified the intrigue. Speculation ran rampant, fueled by a voracious media and an insatiable public appetite for drama. Was it Tyson's health, a legitimate concern for the 50-something former champion with a history of physical ailments? Or was it the notoriously demanding Paul, pushing for more favorable terms and flexing his newfound influence in the sport? Some whispered of a behind-the-scenes power struggle between promoters, a clash of egos and financial interests that had derailed the entire enterprise. The internet became a breeding ground for conspiracy theories, with armchair analysts and self-proclaimed insiders peddling their own versions of the truth. Every leaked detail, every cryptic social media post was dissected and analyzed for hidden meaning. The truth, however, remained elusive, obscured by a fog of conjecture and hearsay. Jake is supposed to be fighting Mike Perry next. This will be a great warm-up fight to get back out Mike. That's even if he recovers. Jake tweeted, one Mike, two Mikes, three Mikes, four. The fact is every opponent has touched the floor. Five months until Tyson and I go to war. So in the meantime, me and Perry are going to make Tampa roar. I fear no man, anytime, anywhere, any place. On July 20th, it's going to be another W. So let us say grace for the BKFC champ who will take a knee. Then we will go to Ireland and take McGregor's equity with Mike Perry clapping back with this video. Are you ready? We're going to fucking war, bitch. Kill these motherfuckers. Ah! I'm coming for you, Jake. I'm the king of violence. Ah! So mark your calendars, fight fans. This is more than just a tune up for Jake. It's a chance for him to silence his critics and prove he's the real deal. For Perry, it's an opportunity to shock the world and derail the Jake Paul hype train. It's a fight with high stakes, personal grudges, and the potential for a highlight reel knockout. What do you think about this? Will the fight now still go ahead? Let us know in the comments.